If you haven't been to the Dolphin House in Bimini, you really need to check it out. It truly is one of Bimini's most unique places. And of course, ain't no blueprint, but look at the Holy Bible, and I got some biblical quotations on the wall, and there you go. And uh, so I'm using the Bible in the sense of my blueprint. It, it is a blueprint. It is a blueprint, it is. And then it's one of a kind because life ain't long enough to make two dogs in It's impossible. <laughs> and I heard in the Bible that Noah built an ark, but he only built, built one. That's right. We're going to go in here and take a look when we're done with the photo. Eh? Okay? I'm Kayla. And I'm Anno. And this is our Sailing Home Discipleship. We sold everything we owned to be able to bring attention to and support missions in need and create memories of a lifetime while on this journey. It was Mark Twain who said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the things you did do. Join us each week as we learn, laugh, and pray. And you'll never miss out if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. After arriving in Bimini, we checked in at Brown's Marina and we raised that Bahamian flag. And then we got busy doing all the touristy things, especially putting our toes in the sand. Of course, we had to take the obligatory selfie on Radio Beach. And then Enno got tired of me taking a million selfies. In July of 2021, Resorts World Bimini Cruise Port welcomed its first two cruise ships, Crystal Serenity and Carnival Horizon. It was recommended by a couple of our friends to check out the Dolphin House Museum. It's a small, charming museum built by local figure Ashley Saunders. Have you been affected by any of the hurricanes? No. Good. I was affected. You yourself. One of the cool things with the Dolphin House is written on the walls in 60 different languages are the words, Welcome to the Dolphin House. We added Southern. Welcome, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Saunders told us that the inside of the Dolphin House are tens of thousands of conch shells. Not just the ones you see, but the, there are some underneath the ones you see. And they're everywhere. Also, everything in the house, except for the girders on the roof, are made from, well, trash. They, he finds the oh stuff and decides gosh. it has an artistic value and puts it in certain places. It was pretty cool. He also explained to us that this lighthouse on top of the house is an actual functioning working lighthouse. Going to his website is www.dolphinhousebimini.com it will redirect you to his Facebook page where he is very active. And it's not just about do the Dolphin House. It has a lot to do with Bimini in general. Green is Heineken. Blue is Bud Light. Bud Light. And what's the white? White is Kalik. Okay. Kalib. Kalib. Okay. And you know that there's a little turtle on top of the house. A turtle. A turtle, okay. You do use everything. How'd you get up there? <laughs> Not only is Mr. Saunders an incredible artist, I think he's just got the most down to earth personality yeah. ever. Literally.
Ashley Saunders is a fifth generation Bahamian. His family at one point in time made a living scavenging shipwrecks. And he has taken what the, he has learned from that and done what he's done with the Dolphin House. Everything in here was recycled from shipwrecks, debris, stuff laying on the beach, conch shells. Everything except for the license plates. People send them license plates to put up in the walls. Getting into the Dolphin House is a $10 fee per person. It's well worth the money spent, and all the money goes to help Ashley Sanders finish the building of the Dolphin House. Ashley Saunders is not only the builder of the Dolphin House, he's a historian and a poet. He has two books written on the history of Bimini and books of poetry. You are incredibly gifted. In the gift shop, on the walls, are hundreds of Ernest Hemingway quotes. Papa Hemingway, at one point in time, was a very frequent visitor to Bimini, where he fished a lot and drank a lot. Always do sober. What you said you do drunk, that will teach you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Ashley Saunders recommended Joe's conch shack for conch fritters and conch salad, and he wasn't wrong. Conch salad there was fantastic. I'm kind of a connoisseur of them. And then you walk around the corner and you see all the old conch shells that they've already used for conch salad. It's kind of an amazing sight to see. Um, but don't worry, the, the conch are making more, a lot more. Wow. Also, I could have conch salad, and it was worth it. And then I took Kayla out for a special treat. He got me coconut bread. Our friends on the sailboat Fresh to Salty had a pretty rough crossing and then while they were anchored there in this rough weather they needed to check in. So I picked up Steven with the scooters and helped him get down to customs to check in. One of the best things about living on a boat is being able to enjoy the sunset from wherever we are. But there are days when we just want to go to the beach and just watch the sun melt straight into the ocean. And being able to share this moment with our two new boat friends from SV Turnerbout and Sailing Redneck Redcoat. The next day we left Brown's Marina in Bimini and we're heading over to Honeymoon Harbor to go swim with stingrays and nurse sharks. If we hadn't got such a late start leaving Bimini, we probably would have stopped by and seen this wreck on the way. But time was of the essence and we had to get there before the sun went down so we could swim with the stingrays and the nurse sharks.
Isaiah 522. It reads, Though the waves toss, yet they cannot prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot cross over it. There's just this indescribable feeling of watching these waves hitting these rocks as the water sprays up higher and higher. You just have to imagine what power is behind all of that. Don't worry, my dad taught me how to tell if it's a nurse shark. You gotta look underneath its skirt. For you. If you're a cruiser and checked into Bemini, this place called Honeymoon Harbor, which is about eight miles south of Bemini, it is a must-see. I mean, look at all of the <laughs> things that we could do in just the little time that we were there. Discipleship to get some well needed rest because tomorrow we leave to go to the berries bright and early in the morning. But we're going to see a sunken airplane, a blue hole, and we're going to try to spear some fish. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we look forward to seeing you next week.